Three quick tips and tricks in Creo Parametric. First, if you perform a search, you can save that search as a layer. So let's go to the search tool. And I'm going to search for small components. So let's use the drop down list and change from the default feature to solid model. This makes size available. And I'm going to look for absolute size is less than, let's use a value of two. And I'll click find now. And I found about 800 small items in here. If you go to the options drop down menu, you can choose to save the query. And when you do that, you'll get a dialog box that asks you to name the layer. I'm going to call this small components. Then I click OK. And there is an option in there that propagates that layer to all the submodels in the assembly. So now when I go to my layer tree, let's make this a little wider. And I'm going to scroll down. We now have a layer called small components. And it's got a bunch of different components in here. And I can use layers in order to select all these various items. All right, second trick, using box selection. And so let's say I want to select a bunch of different parts in here. I can use the selection filter and change this to part. There's a little warning that I'm no longer using the default geometry selection. Be aware that when you are using box selection, there's a difference between swiping left to right versus right to left. If I go left to right, that will select all the components that fall completely within the box. But if I swipe from right to left, it's going to grab any of the components that cross over the box. All right, third tip. Let's say that you want to use the name of this model in a parameter or an annotation. There's a trick in order to do that. First off, I'm going to go to my relations dialog box. and We're going to write a relation using a special uh, parameter. So I'm going to call this part name is equal to, and that special parameter is called rel underscore model underscore name. Unfortunately, I don't believe you can use rel model name directly. You have to use this uh, relation in here. And let's verify. And I'm just verifying so that it'll end up creating this parameter in my model. Let me go down here, down to the bottom. And there we see that we have a parameter called part name now. And it has the same name of the, as the assembly. And so I can go to the annotate tab. And let's say I want to create an annotation that is flat to the screen. Let's create a note and drop it over here. And let's use ampersand and then part name, which is the name of the parameter I created. And you see that now it reports the name of the assembly in my annotation. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and click the subscribe button to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.